we want to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges. So let's take a look at A sub n to help us determine what would be the best test to apply. I think it might be helpful if we would write these series as the sum from n equals one to infinity of the quantity n plus two divided by, if we multiply this out, it would be n squared plus three n. Notice if we ignore the plus two and the plus three n, we'd have the sum of n divided by n squared, which would simplify nicely to one divided by n. So it's safe to say that the given series resembles the sum of one divided by n, which we should recognize diverges by the p-series test, where p is equal to one. So let's go ahead and make that statement. The given series resembles the sum of one divided by n, which diverges by the p-series test with p equal to one, which is less than or equal to one. This is actually the harmonic series. And whenever we have a given series that resembles a known converging or diverging series, this indicates we probably want to use the limit comparison test or the direct comparison test. So for this example, let's apply the limit comparison test. So let's start with a review. The limit comparison test states that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals L, which is greater than zero, and the sum of b sub n converges, then the sum of a sub n also converges. But since we're comparing to a diverging series, we're more concerned about this second statement. If the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals L, which is greater than zero, and the sum of b sub n diverges, then the sum of a sub n diverges. So the sum of b sub n is going to be the harmonic series, where b sub n is one divided by n, and the sum of a sub n will be the given series. So if we can show the limit of this ratio is greater than zero, we can say the given series diverges. So going back to our example, it's important to recognize that b sub n is gonna be equal to one divided by n from the known diverging series, and a sub n is gonna be from the given series of n plus two divided by n times the quantity n plus three. So now let's find our limit. We'll have the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n, which again will be the quantity n plus two divided by n times the quantity n plus three divided by b sub n or one divided by n. So we have a complex fraction or division of two fractions where we have the top fraction divided by the bottom fraction, which we'll now write as a multiplication problem. This is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the top fraction. And then instead of dividing by the bottom fraction, we'll multiply by the reciprocal, which would be n over one. Notice in this form, n over n simplifies to one leaving us with the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus two divided by n plus three. In this form, since the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, they're both degree one, this limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would just be one divided by one, which is equal to one, which is greater than zero. So because we compared the given series to a known diverging series, and this limit is greater than zero, we've just shown that the given series is also divergent. So let's go ahead and summarize this. By the limit comparison test, with the sum of b sub n equal to the sum of one divided by n, which diverges, by the p-series test with p equal to one, which is less than or equal to one, and the limit as n approaches infinity of 
a sub n divided by b sub n is equal to one, which again is greater than zero, the given series also diverges. And that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this explanation helpful.